Good morning. Welcome to story time. Oh my goodness, it has been something out there. Hot, 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 hot. But it's going to be cooler, and we are very, very glad that you are here with us today. Thank you for joining us. Please spread the word. We are on YouTube now, okay? You can find us, and if you can't, you can call, and we can give you directions. I know that sounds silly, but you know how it is. Miss Marie's got to be silly. All right, we're here, and I have some things to show you. Do you see this? Is this not the cutest craft? I think it's darling. And it's made with paper chains. It is a paper chain puppy dog. Now, if you decided that you wanted to have a paper chain kitty cat, you could do that. I don't think I've ever seen this is really a different kind of dog. This is what we call a dachshund looking dog. I don't think I've ever seen a cat like that. But if you wanted to, you have this for kitty cat. Now, on your SLP, it talks about a pencil holder. And I forgot to get the pencils. But here's the pencil holder for the puppy dog. And again, if you want to make a kitty cat, you can. You're going to have to find some craft tubes. You can either paint them. Or we have given you some paper, I think it's black and brown, maybe some white, that you can use to wrap around the toilet paper tube and staple tape or glue it. And then staple tape or glue them together and put your face on it. How about that? All right, boys and girls, you younger ones, we have a turtle pet. I just thought that was so cute. Some people do have turtles, and if you read Super Fudge, you'll find out about a little boy that <clears throat> got into some trouble with a turtle. Here's a Shapes puppy. I see a square, and I see a circle, and I see some rectangles. And the face, this is a big word, boys and girls, octagon. Think about a stop sign. It has eight sides, and that makes it an octagon. An octopus has how many legs? Eight. That's right. So these are some fun things that we have for those of you that are coming to get your crafts, and they are ready and waiting for you right here in the library. We're going to do a song I haven't done in a long, 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 long time. Point at your thumb. And point at your thumb, peekaboo, I see you. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. How about that? Oh my goodness. I haven't done this one in a long time. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. I haven't done those in just a very long time. Oh my goodness. All right. So today I have a couple of books. And because we're studying animals, I have this one. Now last week was woodland animals. And this week is pets, which I just showed you. But this one is just some animals. Peekaboo! A raccoon has a striped tail. And oh my goodness, have we got a lot of raccoons around my house. Lots of raccoons. Now, some people make them pets. I've known some people who had a raccoon as a pet. I have one that sits on the porch and looks at my kitty cat. They just look at each other. Peekaboo! Baby raccoons hide in a tree. 
How many are there? Can you count? One, two, three. Baby raccoons get their milk from their mama. <gasps> a mouse. I know some people who have pets that are mice. And got a little pink nose. Look how cute he is. And I'm sorry, I just don't think I'd want a mouse as a pet. But there are people who have them. Yep, yep, yep. They're very clean animals, by the way. Peekaboo! The mouse pops out of his nest in the grass. And he stands on his feet. Where are your feet? And the mouse wiggles his toes. Can you wiggle your toes? Mouse eats seeds and plants and bugs. So if they're going to eat the skeeter bugs or the ugly bugs, that makes them an okay animal to have around. <gasps> We've done penguins before. Baby penguin has soft, fluffy feathers. Oh, penguins are loud animals. Bears, look at that. Hiding up underneath the adult penguin. The daddy penguin covers the baby with warm feathers. And the baby, can you see he's standing on top of the feet? Can you see that, boys and girls? How about that? Daddy penguins and mama penguins put the baby eggs right there and keep them warm until they hatch. Now, this is a different one. I don't think you need this as a pet. Alligator. Baby alligator has a long body and some very, very sharp teeth. A lot of very sharp teeth. I don't think that would make a good pet. And oh my goodness, the baby alligator is sitting on top of its mommy's head. Now, but alligators hatch from eggs like snakes. Where's the baby? There it is, right there. Look at that mama. Oh my goodness. We did this one. We had, whoops. It's a fox. It's a red fox. And it has big ears. This is why the pretty bushy tail. Remember the book I read about do like a duck does? The fox tried to be like a duck. That was a funny book. Peekaboo! Baby foxes peek out of their home. They really are cute. And some people think they make good pets because they think it's like a dog. They're in the canine family. How many foxes? One, two. And the fur keeps it all nice and warm. How about that? So there you go. We got a raccoon and penguin and fox, and alligator, and baby mouse. How about that? So, boys and girls, we have lots of animal books here at the library. Lots and lots. All right, now, it's pet week, so how many of you have said, Mama, can I please have a kitty? Can I please have a puppy? And Mama, or Daddy, or Grandma, or whoever said, you have to take care of it. And animals are a lot of responsibility. They're a very big responsibility. They have to have help sometimes when they're sick and um, they have to have a safe place to stay. Now they can usually take care of themselves outside in the wild, but if you turn them into a pet, it's a little bit different story. So we can be responsible. This is by Linda Arnez and this is one I'm not familiar with, a Gareth Publishing, but we have the set about being responsible, okay? This is something that you boys and girls can learn to do. You can be responsible. All right, pets are fun. They need us to take care of them. Now, this is some kind of a lizard. It's like the baby mouse and other baby animals that I don't think I want, but some people have them. I don't know if that's a baby iguana or not. I think that might be a bearded lizard. It might be. I have a friend who lives right here in Vicksburg, and she's got a lizard. I promise you that thing is five feet long, and it walks around in her house. Not me. 
our pets need food, and Ty feeds his dog in a dish. I don't know if you can see it because there's that white background and there's that white dog. And somebody got this book wet. Ruh -ruh. It happens. Will and Fred feed their bunny a carrot. Now this is a pretty good sized bunny, boys and girls. I had a friend who had one and that, that bunny, that cute little bunny weighed 20 pounds. Goodness. And Donald feeds his fish. You can't see it very well, but there's the fish bowl. There's the fish bowl. He's giving the fish a little bit of food. <gasps> Look at that pretty baby. I wonder if that's a Samoan. Pets need exercise, and Hannah walks her dog. I wonder if Hannah walks her dog or if the dog walks Hannah. Look how big that dog is. Goodness gracious. Our hamster likes to run, and he runs in a wheel. There are a lot of teachers who will have hamsters or gerbils for class pets. And we have some books about those kind of things. Yep. Pets need to be clean. Look at the kitty. Noreen brushes her cat's fur. And I think that cat looks like it's very happy being brushed. Right now, my kitty is shedding so bad. I need to get a brush and get all that fur off of her. She's losing her winter coat. I cleaned the bunny house. It's called a hutch. Now, look, here's the bunny. This is not a little bitty thing. Looks kind of like that one I was telling you about. 20 pound animal. Hmm. So I guess he goes in here and he can have some grass. And he goes up there, I guess. You see that, boys and girls? I guess they have to cover that hole up some kind of way. Or maybe, I don't know. I wouldn't want the bunny rabbit to fall through the floor. That'd be kind of bad. We care for pets by showing them love. And Chrissy kisses the bird's head. Now, this is a parakeet. They're very, very, very pretty, pretty, pretty birds. They've got light color blue and green and yellow feathers. Can you see the striped head? Yeah. So, Hutch, the rabbit Hutch. Learn something new every day, boys and girls. It's a good thing to do. I have enjoyed doing this with you. You have a great day. Get out and get some sunshine before it gets hot. Vitamin D, it's a very, very important thing for you to have in your body. Drink milk and get some fresh air and sunshine. And we'll see you soon. Bye.